Okay, an automobile generator produces what, uh, 12 volt when turning at 500 revolution per minute. Uh, what potential difference will it produce at 1200 revolution per minute? Okay, so uh, this one also about turning, about turning, uh, rotating coil. Okay, this one also about rotating coil. Yeah? Turning, yeah? turning means to rotate lah. Something rotating. Uh, so this one is about E induced for rotating coil. Uh, for rotating coil. So uh, also back to the formula. Uh, this one, yeah. Also this one, yeah. For rotating coil, for generator, you know, dynamo generator. Uh, e equal to NBA omega. MB omega sine omega t. Yeah, that's what that's right. Yeah. Uh MBA omega sine omega t, which is this formula, MBA omega sine omega t. Okay, write that down. So E induce equal to NBA omega sine omega t. <coughs> Excuse me. Um okay, so what do we have? Uh, this this uh, 12 volt is the E induced. Lah. Okay, E induced. Uh, put it as number one. Lah, yeah, because we have two, two potential difference. Yeah, this is number one. This one potential, the, the one he asked us should be the E2. Yeah, E2. Uh, okay, so we want to find this. Uh, this one is turning at this uh, 500 revolution per minute. This one should be the frequency. Should be the frequency uh, put as F1. Yeah. Uh, the revolution per minute. Yeah. Or in R this is the revolution per minute. It means RPM. Uh, this is RPM. Yeah. Revolution per minute RPM. In unit RPM. You need to convert it to radian per second if you want to find the omega. Okay, you want to treat this as a frequency or you want to treat it as omega also can lah. Okay, uh, but then you have to change lah the RPM to radian per second, yeah? Okay, uh, and then this one should be the, can treat this as a frequency 2 or you want to treat it as omega 2 also can, yeah? Uh, so, uh, also in RPM, yeah? This one, RPM, you need to change it to radian per second. Okay, so, um... Right now, okay, so how to do? Uh, so we have two conditions, right? We have two conditions. We have uh, condition one, condition two. Uh, we have uh, E1 is uh, 12 volt. And then uh, okay, we, maybe we take that, take that at uh, omega. Lah. Take that at omega. So it's uh, 500 <coughs> RPM. Okay, maybe you can change it to radian per second. So to change it to radian per second, that means it is... Um, uh, it's revolution per minute, right? Revolution per one minute. Okay. Uh, RPM means revolution per minute. So to change it to radian per second is we multiply by multiply by two pi and divide by sixty. Uh, divide by sixty. Uh, so one revolution, one revolution is two pi radian. One revolution is two pi radian. One minute is sixty second. Yeah. So uh, this is the one lah. Huh? If you want to change it, change this to radian per second. Uh, you always multiply two pi over sixty, isn't it? Ah, you always multiply uh, two pi over sixty. Uh, this is the one lah. Two pi over sixty. Okay. So you can change to radian per second. That's omega. Okay, so so uh, what is this? Uh, maybe calculate and see. Five hundred multiply two pi, divide by sixty. So that's uh that's uh fifty pi over three. Fifty pi over three. Uh, radian per second. Okay, that's omega one. Now, how about uh, E2? Uh, that's what we want to find. That's what we want to find. Omega 2 is uh, uh, 1200 RPM. 
uh, okay so this one also multiply uh, 2 pi over 60 multiply 2 pi over 60 we shall get radian per second so uh, let's calculate and see uh, multiply 2 pi and then divide by 60 so it's 40 pi this one is 40 pi radian per second okay uh, that's omega 2 so now uh, i can find uh, e2 yeah e2 so how to do it how to do this okay so we uh put uh do two equations yeah two equations so we have a uh, equation one uh, is uh e1 equal to e induced one equal to and the a omega one okay and then um uh and then sine sine omega t yes or just put sine theta lah Okay, sine theta. Uh, this one also, uh, number 2 is um, E2 equal to, I don't do substitute value first. I don't do substitute value first. I just put as symbol first, yeah. MBA omega, uh, MBA omega 2 sine theta, yeah. And because this one is actually theta lah. Yeah? Because theta is omega t, right. It's just like S equal to ut, okay. Uh, theta is omega t yeah just s equal u t yeah okay so uh all right so i just divide yeah divide these two i can get the answer yeah i should get the answer uh okay let's find out uh okay so i just take two formula press the two divide by one okay so it's a uh, e two over e one equal to this n b a omega two n b a omega two uh, sine theta divide by n b n b a omega one sine theta ah okay so this one can be cut off. Uh, all this MBA can be cut off. So it's just this two lah. Okay, it's just this two. Um, all right. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay. So what is E? Okay, E two. I want to find E two over E one is uh, twelve volt. Twelve volt. So uh, omega two is a uh, forty pi. Okay, omega two is forty pi. Omega 1 is 50 pi over 3. 50 pi over 3. Okay, and then, um, okay, and then you, you, uh, this one multiply, multiply 3, multiply 3, so I can cut off the, you know, cut off the 3. So I got what? I get, I got, um, this is, um, 120 pi at the top, and this one is 50 pi. Uh, so I can, Cancel, cancel, that, yeah, cancel. Okay, so the final answer is um, of the EMF2 is equal to, okay, so it's uh, 12 divided by 5, uh, and then uh, multiply 12, so the answer is 28.8, 28.8 volt. Yeah, that's the answer. <coughs> Am I right? So the answer is 28.8. That's correct. Okay, that's the answer. 28.8 ah uh, okay that's the answer 28.8 volt okay using the formula mba omega sin omega t okay that's all bye